Hi everyone, my name is Japel Hernandez and welcome to Man on a Mission. I don't know what you're going through right now, but you know, the season, not just in the Philippines, but everywhere is quite dire. It's very challenging. Uh, people are having a hard time and I just want to make this video um, you know, for you. I just want you to be inspired, find hope, and most especially find love. My message today is called Always Choose to Love. I want you to remind yourself that when you're confused, when you're stressed, when you're struggling, when you don't know what to do, the main option, the main thing to do is always choose to love. Uh, as, I'm, I'm, as I am making this video in the Philippines, we, we're just back into MECQ or Modified uh, Enhanced Community Quarantine where it's like a lot of things are not operating and you know, life is, is just hard right now for people. Uh, you know, it, in this challenging time that we're in the pandemic, people are hating the government because I mean, I just don't want to go to politics. But I'm sure if you're watching the news or just really being updated what's happening, y people have, you know, certain feelings towards our government here in the Philippines and in different countries. People are hating companies for, you know, being strict, overworking, and just hating bosses as well. And, and then people are also hating the rich because, you know, even if the rich is having a hard time, they're still very comfortable. They have cars and they're safe and all of those things. You know, people are, are mad and angry because there's, there's not enough cash to go around. People are, you know, uh, financially stressed severely. And um, I mean, oh, by the way, I have a book on how to overcome financial stress. Go to bit.ly jpaul books. I'm sorry, bit.ly slash jpaul books and you'll, you'll see it. Um, yeah, I mean, and just, you know, so many other bad things that's happening in life. Just people are stressed. And I was sharing this message to my podcast recording just a while ago. It's called The Narrow Door. So maybe just join me there. It's with, uh, it's an ecumenical podcast with um, different Christian denominations. Anyway, and you know, in, when you are bitter, sorrowful, stressed, and angry, I want us to go back to this Bible verse and just be rooted in love. It's 1 John chapter 4, verse 19 to 21. It says, we love each other because he loved us first. If someone says, I love God, but hates a fellow believer, that person is a liar. For if we don't love people we can see, how can we love God whom we cannot see? And he has given us this command, those who love God must also love their fellow believers. I mean, a lot of people are saying it's end of the world, we're going to die, and all of those things. And whatever the situation, whether it's good times or crisis times or bad times or pandemic times, always, every single day, every single moment we're alive, God is asking us, calling us to choose to love. You see, God's kingdom is the, our currency here. Our, our method of exchange is not ego, power, pride, or selfishness. The currency of God's kingdom, of Jesus, is love. So if you are called to love, that means you're being called to be like Jesus. And you know, as a leader in different organizations, sometimes I, I feel that, you know, I'm right. I should, you know, fight for my rights. I, I should, you know, just be angry because sometimes people are weird. But then I... I, I go back to God's calling of love that why am I making for example this podcast um, why am I making all of this to share the love of God to share it to other people to you know help people especially men lead provide and protect find your mission in life so that is my mission and um, and even if sometimes I forget to love or I'm tempted to not love you know what's amazing God's love is constant. It's always there. So I'm not saying this video to just, hey, you know, allow the bad things to just happen to you or just um, um, 
turn a blind eye. No, I'm just saying that even if bad things are happening all over the world, we can always choose to love. In the first line, in verse 19, it says, We love each other because He loved us first. I want to tell you that God is the author of love. So, you know, whatever we think love is, it comes from God. True love comes from God. Not the kind of love that you look for because you're lonely. You know, this is my mistake when I was still single or when I was younger. I was entering different kinds of relationships thinking that it will complete me. It will make me happy. That this other person will, you know, be the light of the world in my life and just, wah! Everything's gonna be perfect because of this person. And guess what? Relationship after relationship, person after person, I cannot find joy. Why? Because I did not understand that I cannot expect other people to make me happy. But instead, happiness is a choice. So what's my point? I was not entering these relationships out of love. I was entering these relationships out of selfishness. So how do you know if it's real love? It's when you can swallow your own selfishness. When you can really be selfless. That is real love. That is love in action. How have I understood God's love and complete true love? When I became a husband and I realized that I should sacrifice for my wife, that I should be patient when she's taking long hours in, you know, changing and wearing makeup and just trying out 10 dresses before we leave the house, sacrificing my impatience to, you know, not be mad, that is sacrificial love and that is real love. So as a husband, I have understood God's love even even more because, you know, because of my wife. And then when I first held my son as a father, and then now as he's growing up as a toddler, every single day I go deeper, I have a deeper dive in understanding God's love for us, not just myself, but love, God's love for everyone. That what is sacrificial love? You'll give up everything for this person. And giving up is also, when you give up, you win. So sometimes what happens is that we, we sacrifice and we give up things. And why do we get burned or burned out? Because we do not have, you know, the love inside us. We're incomplete. We're broken. So that's why people get, you know, burned when we sacrifice. But if it is, we're complete in love inside us. We can give so much. Why? Because real love comes from God. How do you know, aside from its sacrificial love, um, the love that you have never gets, you know, burned, never gets diluted, never gets empty. You always have love inside you even when you're tired because the source of love is God. In this crisis, in this pandemic, in this bad season, we're called to love like Jesus. How? Sacrifice. We're here to sacrifice for our loved ones, for the people we don't know. It's not just about prayers. Yes, prayers are good. But we have to sacrifice to, you know, bless people, to sacrifice our own egos. We sacrifice our own fame just to help others. And you might be saying, I I don't want to be defeated. No, no. You see, when you sacrifice, you're not um, thinking less of yourself. No, no. You're thinking of yourself less. What what does that mean? You're not just wondering, thinking all about, it's not about you. It's stepping back and, you know, helping others. And I promise you, all your sacrifice, God sees it. God will reward it. God will bless you. Next part of the verse is um, verse 20. Chap- first, ch- first John chapter 4, verse 20, it says, If someone says, I love God, but hates a fellow believer, that person is a liar. For if we don't, lo- we don't love people we can see, how can we love God whom we cannot see? I love this Bible verse. I love it because, you know, some people talk about love like it's nothing or it's just easy. No, 
Love is hard because it's constantly deciding to love someone. We see in relationships when we take, 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 that is not love, that is selfishness. You know, for example, uh, when we enter a relationship and all we want is sex from the other person, that is not giving, that is taking from the other person. When we just want this person to follow us, we want this person to shut up or we want this person to adjust and change his or her values to, you, to, adj- uh, to adjust to us, that is not real love, that is selfish love and that is not Christ-like love. So that love will not help us in life. When we blame, that is not love. When, you know, what we do every day is blame the government, blame leaders, blame people. I'm not saying that they're doing the best, you know, they're, they're perfect leaders. No, you know, they're ma- everyone's making mistakes, even including you and me. What I'm saying is, you know, we just have to stop the blame game and instead do our part. Do what's right. Do what we need to do. When we condemn, that is not love. Even if the person is a sinner, we do not have the right to condemn this person. And most especially when we judge someone, that is not love. Love is sacrificial, giving, and generous, and kind, and merciful, and compassionate. It is not proud. Verse 21 of this, you know, 19 to 21 says, And he has given us this command, those who love God must also love fellow believers. It's like loving your neighbors, loving your brothers and sisters, loving people around you. You know, as a man, we'd rather sometimes, you know, um, run away or hide in our cave or just um, surround ourselves with a few people or many people. It depends. We we don't want to really um, love people um, generously because of our insecurities, issues, you know, we sometimes talk about people behind their backs and all of those things. But during this pandemic, one of the ways I realize that I'm helping people is that, you know, I'm ordering um, from people who, you know, tried an online business. I'm ordering from all my friends. I try all my friends to order food or whatever product they have. And I order it with, you know, um, uh, full, full payment. Uh, I don't ask for a discount, and I just really support them, and I promote it online, promote it to my other friends, um, because I believe, yes, you don't have to be, you know, like Mother Teresa or Bo Sanchez or whoever, you know, Christian person you look up to, but wherever you are, you can love in small ways like that. It's, you know, um, being sacrificial in your family. It's being sacrificial in spending for the people you love. Just in case, you know, for example, you have extra cash. How can you love friends who are struggling financially? Then you buy from them. You support their online business or all of those things. So for me, I mean, aside from leading ministry and all of those things, one way of loving others right now or loving my brothers and sisters is supporting their online stuff. Words of love are good, but they're not enough. Love is also action. Love can be measured by how much we sacrifice, how much we give. And you might be saying, Jay Paul, baka maubusan ako. Truth. If you are connected to the source of love, which is Jesus, you'll never run out of love. You'll over, you're, you, sorry, you will always be overflowing in love. So if there is um, drought in love in your heart, maybe you are connecting your love tank to the wrong source. Maybe it's time for you to just ask God, Lord, where are you? And connect to Jesus. And when you connect to Jesus, you'll never run out of love. So how are you actively helping people? How are you actively blessing people? How are you actively being kind and merciful and compassionate and generous to other people? It can be simple as, you know, making... Uh, making sandwiches for your village guards or, you know, f- giving p- food to the, the poor in the streets or whatever. You have the capacity to love because l- God loves you. The love you can give to others is unlimited because God's love for you is unlimited. And if, even if you really cannot do it outside in your house, with your family members, how can you sacrifice 
to love. In this pandemic, in this crisis, in this season of struggle, we can always, you know, shout, be angry, blame others, and all of those things, or we can choose to love. Love is God, and God is love. If we choose to love, we choose God. Sacrifice, and I believe, you know, God is the ultimate reward, God is the ultimate source, and God is the ultimate blessing. And if you choose this, you're choosing God's favor in your life. So please open yourself up to God's grace by choosing to love. And I promise you, your life will just keep on getting better and better and better and better. Thank you for watching Man in the Mission. My name is Jay Pla Hernandez. I want to promise you that the best is yet to come. And you are God's favored child and you are blessed. And please tag, like, comment, share. And if you have questions, just message me and I, I would love to respond to you. Have a great life. Have a great weekend. And see you again soon.